G'day guys, Tom from Origin Canine here and it's time for one of our product videos. So today, we are talking about the systems integrated collar. Now I get a lot of questions about the systems integrated collar, why is it called systems integrated, what systems is it integrate and how does it do it? Uh, great questions, so we're going to answer all those today. We're also going to talk a bit about some sizing, uh, what considerations you may need. Uh, we're going to go through a bit of a demonstration. We're gonna look through some of the components and then talk about why I designed it the way I designed it. All right, so the first step is we're gonna get into the purpose that it was designed for. Okay, so back when I was developing dual role working dogs and selling them, what I would find that if I was using a pinch or a slip or an, even an e-collar, um, often at times I would have my flat collar on the dog and I would have the separate different collars in various different orders. And at times I would find the collars would slip upside down. So for example, if I was running a training scenario where uh, like a bite cereal and I needed my dog to have something that's be attached to something strong so it can pull against, that's safe. Um, and then I, when they're on the bite, I might want to switch over to something like a manual system, like a slip collar, for example, for an out. But I found that when it came to doing that stuff and the adrenaline was pumping and you're running around a little bit, it was always hard to find that clip and I, I didn't really know where it was gonna be on the dog's neck. Could have slid down, could have gone on, on the underside, could be on one of the two sides, I never really, really uh, knew. So I, f I designed this product so that your e-collar, your e-collar here and your manual system here slips, prongs, chokers, martingales, those type of things, are always in the same spot. Always in the same place so your reference points don't change. I know my e-collar system's up there. I know that next to the power of e-ring is my slip or my prong or your live ring, your dead ring, whichever one you wanna use. I know where it is at all times. So that was essentially the purpose behind it, guys. And if, if any of you watching are from a law enforcement or from a military background, you'll know when things get stressful and you get that target fixation or you lose your micro skills um, and you have that visual auditory exclusion, um, you're gonna lose a lot of your micro skills. So you'll be doing a lot of macro movements. And that's why I designed it the way I designed it. So you wouldn't have to go micro, you're always thinking macro. You know where it is, you can do it by touch, you can do it by feel, and you can do it by muscle memory and repetition. Okay, so what we're gonna go through now is we're gonna go through the components of the systems integrated collar. So I'm gonna start at the top and I'm gonna work my way down. The first component I wanna talk about is the handle. Now, there are handle, no handle options, but we're gonna talk about the handle. So the handle um, sits obviously flush in the middle of the collar above the power of ring there, and it uh, is bound by a group tape called Tough Tech, which is a company in the US. Um, come down from there, you've got the power V ring. Now, I've got the power V ring in the center. This is a forged steel parachute V ring. So it's load rated. It's designed to take a, a massive amount of weight. It's secured with a piece of Type 13 mil-spec nylon webbing, and it's centrally mounted on the collar. Another thing I used to find was if I put the collar on the wrong way, and the dog was facing that way, and the clip was also facing that way, I'd have to flip it back over, or I'd have to turn the collar around. So it's centrally mounted like this. Moving on down from there, um, or across from there, we're gonna talk about this little Velcro loop here. The Velcro loop at the top, there's a male and a female, and they go into a circle like this. That's where you're gonna attach your manual systems to, your slips, your prongs. Going on the other side, we've got our two pieces of bungee cord. One, two. And you can see how they are either side of the handle like that. Those are designed so that when you do have your e-collar mounted, it is not going to slip left and right of that, and it's going to be central the whole time. Now, if we look on the inside of the collar, you're going to notice you've got this spacer mesh. Now, this is a neck padding. This is for a bit of moisture wicking, and it's also for a little bit of padding and some comfort for the dog when they're wearing the collar. 
Uh, we're gonna move back to the outside of the collar now. So we've got this uh, mil-spec nylon webbing, um, which is 1.5 inches, and that is 38 millimeters. Um, and that is a uh, berry compliant, uh, load rated piece of fabric there. Now we're gonna move uh, just on the outside again, we've got this little, um, another bungee loop, and now this one here is for retention. This one here is designed to stow your excess if you've adjusted too much, like I have purposely here. This is adjusted too much, and then the Velcro doesn't touch the other Velcro, so you can just fold it over and use your retention. Now, if you wanna go the other way, and you wanna loosen it all the way, oop, stay with me. You wanna loosen this all the way, and it doesn't touch the Velcro down there, your retention bungee still does the same job and it keeps the excess stowed so it's not flapping around getting caught. Now, the piece of resistance, the one everyone always asks about, and that is, excuse me, that is the GT Cobra Buckle. Now the GT Cobra Buckle is a hard polymer, 2.2 kilonewton load rated piece of uh, equipment made by Austria Alpen. Now Austria Alpen is a climbing company, so everything they do has a very climbing, load rated, centric theme to it. And um, now previously I've said that the 38 millimeter GT Cobra Buckle has the same load rating as a metal buckle of the same size. It does not. However, it does have 2.2 kilonewtons of load rating strength on a straight pull. That's 220 kilos of a dynamic force. So this thing is gonna keep your dog nice and secure. Now, why have I used a plastic GT Cobra Buckle instead of the metal Cobra Buckle? Mostly it's lighter. It's lighter, it doesn't rust, and I find it has a much smoother action. So if you're familiar with Cobra Buckles, I find the metal ones when you use the two side pieces can be a little bit sticky over time because of rust or grit getting in there. I don't find the plastic buckle ever has that issue. Now, another important feature about this Cobra buckle is if you try and undo it with just one size, it's not gonna work, no matter how hard you pull. Only with the two is it gonna open. And that's it, guys. That is the components for the systems integrated collar. Okay, now when it comes to the sizing of the systems integrated collar, you've got your three standard sizing. Size number one is a small. Now I'm gonna read off my whiteboard here. Small is 11.8 inches to 15.7 inches, which is 30 to 40 centimeters. We've got our medium, which is 15.7 to 19.6 inches, and that's 40 to 50 centimeters. And we've got our large collar, which is 19.6 to 23.6 inches, which is 50 to 60 centimeters. Now, if your dog is somewhere in between these sizes or you're not sure, generally, I would go a size up. Now, the reason I would go a size up is because some of the smaller ones, you may not take into account this neck padding, which might pad the collar out just a little bit and bump you into that neck size up. So. If you're in doubt and you're on the border of two sizes, I'd go a size up. Okay, so now what we're gonna go on with is we're gonna go on with a demonstration and I'm gonna show you how it works with the systems and how to actually integrate it. So let's have a look. Okay, so now we're gonna do a quick demonstration and we're gonna talk about actually fitting an e-collar and a manual mechanical system to the systems integrated collar. Now for the purpose of this demonstration, I've used the collar option with no handle. So the first one we're gonna put on is gonna be the e-collar. Now the e-collar is gonna use these two bungee loops on the outside. Okay, first step is you wanna take your e-collar and you wanna undo it like that. Now if you have a strap and a buckle, undo that, it's gonna work pretty much the same way. What I'm using here is the Origin Canine um, e-collar mount, just for ease and a little bit of uh, quick on and off. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take, I'm gonna first orientate my prongs into the dog, like this, just like you would when you're running it. You're gonna get your first little tab and then you're gonna feed it through that bungee just there. 
You're gonna push it all the way through and pull all the excess through right up until that bungee is nice and flush with your e-collar like that. And you're gonna do the other side exactly the same. Push it all the way through. Even move that little tri-glide in there so it's super tight because you want minimal movement with this thing. And if you have to muck around with it, that's okay too, as long as it's tight when you need it to be. There you go. So once you've got your two pieces in, you're just going to do up your e-collar like this. And there you go. Your e-collar is now held right next to your systems integrated collar. It's top mounted, it can't slide it around because it's held in position and both your buckles are in the same spot on the bottom. So it's easy to take off, easy to put on. Okay, so that was the electric system. Now let's talk about the manual mechanical systems, right? So we are gonna orientate the collar the other way now. So we've got the Velcro piece, he's gonna be sticking up like this. So first thing you wanna do is you're gonna undo that Velcro. Now you notice you've got a female Velcro on top and a male on the underside. We're going to be using the female hook, uh, correction, female loop Velcro. So you're going to get your manual system, undo it. Now with the Origin K9 slip collars, I use the running ring. This is the one that I'm going to use. Now same as the e-collar, you're going to orientate it the way that you're going to use it with the dog. Now that's important because the way you mount it is the way it's going to go when you're actually using it. So ensure that the loop that's going to go on the lead is at the top with the power of E-ring. So you're going to get your female Velcro, you're going to feed it through the top like that and you're just going to fold it over like that. I'm then going to get my male Velcro, I'm going to push it through like that, fold it onto itself and what you should find is the loop sits there nice and clean like that. All I'm gonna do then is attach this to the running loop and then this functions the way it's supposed to function and it does not move. It's gonna be in one spot on your dog. Now you've got your manual systems and your electrical systems all on the one collar in the one place. Okay, so the last segment now, we're gonna talk about some of the options that you guys have as canine handlers and users. So the biggest distinction is between these two models is you have a no handle option and you have a handle option. Now handles, no handle is entirely up to the, uh, to the, the handler, the trainer, it's your, it's your preference. Uh, personally, I don't really require a handle unless I'm running a collar only because I usually use the, the handle on the vest. But those of you out there who, who are working dogs, you may have different roles, different requirements. So that's probably the biggest distinction is the handle, no handle option. Um, now, in terms of the other options, it's all reasonably standard. We've got our three sizes, small, medium, and large. Um, and we've got our four different colors. So we've got Multicam Black, Multicam Green, Coyote Brown, and Plain Black. Those are your four color options, guys. Um, and then you can do small, medium, large, handle, no handle. Thanks for watching.